Welcome to Berkeley Farms. I'm Clint Burkholder. We're located here in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. On our farm, we have 850 mature cows that we milk three times a day. We also have around 700 heifers, so it uh, keeps us busy. We farm about 1,400 acres of ground that we use to provide the feed for all of these animals. When my grandfather moved onto the farm here and bought the farm in 61, and my father joined him 10 years later, roughly in a partnership around the early 70s. And then in 82, my father bought the farm. In 2007, my wife and I formed a joint venture with my parents just the past year, the end of 2019. We bought out the joint venture and are now the sole owners of the farm. Hi, I'm Kara Burkholder, and my husband and I own and operate Berkeley Farms. Well, on a day-to-day -day basis, I work with the calves. The mother in me, the nurturing, plays a good part with taking care of the calves. So when a calf is first born, we warm up four quart of colostrum and we try to feed the calf as soon as we can after the calf is born to get some nutrients in her. Colostrum is the first milk from a mother cow that has all the antibodies and goodies that the baby needs to get, get a good start to their life. So we dip their navel with iodine to prevent infection. Then after a few hours, we'll move her into a hutch where she has fresh straw bedded in there. We will then feed her milk. When she is three days old, we introduce grain to them. So we feed milk twice a day, and then they have free choice of grain and water through the day. And we give them an ear tag for their identification. So we're proud to dairy farm, and one of the benefits is raising our children on the farm. I think it teaches them responsibility, respect, and commitment to do a job and to be able to provide for the community. On the farm, I'll help out my dad, help run the tractors in the field. I'll do a little bit of everything. I really enjoy feeding calves and working with them and feeding them. My least favorite thing is probably to feed the calves. A couple of things that we do on the farm to keep the cows content would be, we bed them with sand for one, so the cows have a nice deep bedded, soft bed that they lay in, kind of like being at the beach. When they stand to eat, we have a rubber mat, three quarters inch thick mat that they stand on to soften where they stand. We also, while they're eating, we have sprinklers that are on a timer, depending on the temperature and the weather, sprinkles them, and then there's fans that they cool them, get the evaporative cooling effect from the water and the, and the fans. We also have a few cow brushes that the cows just love to play with. They just enjoy scratching their backs. The thing I enjoy to do the most on the farm would be to feed the cows. I enjoy mixing the feed, but it's the whole process of growing the crops, cut the silage, cut the feed, put it away, store it, and then be able to formulate a, a ration that the cows eat and you're able to see the results of that. But I enjoy the variety of things. I think I would get bored if that's all I did. So I enjoy dairy farming with my husband and I think being a part of the Cabin Corner is a great opportunity to educate the community with what we do on our farm and how milk is produced and the health benefits. I think it's very re rewarding at the end of the day or the end of the year to be able to look back and see what you have done you have animals that you cared for over the past year or two and then you see them have a calf and coming back into the herd. That to me is what I find rewarding. 